my name's Martha Seyard. I'm a professor in the biology department. And the project I've been working on as part of Faculty College, together with other faculty from biology, uh, Hunter Fraser, Mary Beth Mudgett, and Wahida Kalfan, is to really develop a brand new introductory course that we hope is going to introduce biology to freshmen in a very dynamic way that really emphasizes skill building and not uh, content. But the course is really using uh, stories from infectious disease to really try to capture their interest in biology. One of the main pedagogical goals we have for this project, for this course, uh, called Bio60, Introduction to Problem Solving, is to really make use of a lot of active learning techniques. So with our tutors from VPTL and uh, our uh, events at Faculty College, we've really looked at the things that promote the most retention of information in students. And those things are teaching others and also really doing active activities and uh, discussing uh, uh, the material a lot. Uh, in class one, we had a great activity to introduce students to the scientific method. We used something called a mystery box and uh, students worked in pairs to basically do simple experiments and interpret those experiments and try to come up with a model that answers the question, what's inside the box? So it's really a metaphor for biological questions, which also often are essentially trying to look at what's inside a black box, but usually not so simple as just being able to open the cardboard box at the end. So I'm still learning a lot from this experience, and I think we really hope to learn a lot from the first offering of this course. And we're really hoping that the students themselves will teach us a lot about you know, what worked and what we can be doing better. Uh, we also are really learning a lot about working with our TAs and developing them as uh, trainers. The students in each section are going to uh, evaluate uh, both scientific literature and popular media articles about a particular infectious disease and then use that at the end to develop a scientific poster which they will also uh, be able to practice communicating orally to different kinds of audiences, expert and lay audiences. So the opportunity through Faculty College that we had to uh, work with Loriana Trujillo was wonderful. She really encouraged us and uh, we've also learned a lot from our other teams at Faculty College through the joint events and gotten a lot of wonderful feedback from other teams. So it's been a great experience.